Hi everyone, my name is Nagta Lundlovo. I am a 29-year-old junior research scientist at NCT Forestry. So I completed all my university schooling at the Nelson Mandela University at the George campus in Western Cape. I started with a national diploma in forestry, which is three years. I added another year, completed a BTEC degree in forestry, added two more years to complete a master's degree in forestry, and added a couple more years to complete or to pursue a PhD degree in forestry. And I'm happy to say that although it's been a long journey, but I'm submitting my PhD thesis this year. The cost associated with tertiary education, I mean, university fees are expensive. I was raised by a single mother, and so I knew that she really couldn't afford to put me through university. And um, but it was through a whole lot of hard work and just pursuing excellence in my studies that I was fortunate to secure bursaries from the time I started up until now. Getting to that best version of you, the extraordinary you, takes a lot of sacrifice. Life, we face so many difficulties. Sometimes you feel like you're not good enough. Sometimes you feel like you can't do this. But I had, I've had to learn to be positive, to maintain a positive attitude, and just to keep on working hard, even if I don't see the fruit of that in the moment. So the role of a forestry researcher, okay, firstly, you need to be brave. You need to be a brave person who's not afraid to, to step into the unknown to solve industry-related um, challenges. The bulk of my work involves finding tree species that can survive and grow well in the current or under the current environmental conditions while meeting market requirements. And this we do through planting trials in the field, going out in the field to measure those trials, coming back at the office, capturing the data, analyzing that data, and ultimately making recommendations on the best tree species to deploy or the best clone to plant. But we are also mindful that climate change is a reality. And so um, the future growing conditions might not necessarily be the same as what we've got right now and so we are also trying to find tree species that can be grown in those forecasted or predicted future conditions. Really what we do within the cooperative is for the benefit of the small, small and medium scale growers who individually would not be able to carry out this research in their own capacity. To everyone watching this, I just want to let you know that it does not matter where you come from, your background does not have to determine your future.